Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're well. Welcome to this video, which is going to be a is it worth doing video. Um, probably isn't really going to be a series or anything, but it's just I've got the kit to um, motorise the tram from the Winter Village Main Street. So I've got a powered up hub, I've got motor, lights, and just a couple of wheels. And uh, this tram looks really good and uh, it's, it's, it's only got sort of like four seats at the front and enough space for a driver, but it is supposed to be motorised as well. Now, at the moment you can see through the tram and it looks pretty good. Now, once I add the powered up and everything like that, there's going to be a box in here and it's all going to be, um, yeah. I mean, they've designed it to be motorised. The instructions are in the instruction manual on how to do it. So this isn't really a tutorial, but it's just to give you an idea of whether you would want to spend the money on all of this kit in order to get it moving, really. You'd also have to buy track and everything. Of course, I've got the um, railway behind me, so I can test it on the railway behind me. We'll do that as well at the end of this video and see if it actually can run. Now, I have um, sort of the uh, sleepers, the brown tiles and everything, so that may cause it a problem. I don't know, but uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. So is it worth doing? So I'm going to go through the instructions. This, like I say, this isn't going to be a tutorial because all the stuff to motorize it or the instructions on how to do it is all in here. So I'll get to work on this. We'll get all of the bits in and then we can see, well, you can see by watching this video, whether you want to spend the money on the hub and everything like this. Cause this is, I mean, this comes to about 60 pounds worth of stuff, I think, and that's not including the track. So you'd have to buy extra track as well. So you could be talking about 80, 90 pounds by the time you've finished it. Do you want to spend 90 pounds on getting this done? I got all of this, well, this was a new motor, but otherwise everything else I took out of other trains. And then if, uh, well, I don't know if I'll keep it like this once it's powered up. I don't know, but uh, maybe, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see, see how well it runs on the track. So, right, I'll get to work on adding the powered up and then we'll see how it, how it works. Okay, there we go that's the power functions the power functions it's not power functions it's powered up power functions would also need an ir receiver as well um, there's a few things oh something's popped out okay now it's done so that took about 10 minutes to do just over 10 minutes um, most of it is just trying to work out whether it um, cables are going to go and you've just got to make sure that it's all straight. Uh, I, I noticed that it was kind of bowing down there and there was a funny shape, but I've now corrected that. Now my, okay, the Bluetooth hubs in there, the lights are in there, everything's in there. So that's how it looks now. So we have the Bluetooth hub in there. You've got lots of cables in there. It's a bit of a squeeze as well, it's a small space. Um, the lid, of, uh, they've got a funny sort of inverse tile here, which goes in the middle of the roof. I've um, got rid of that because there's just not enough space for it. The, uh, the spare bits that you use on the powered up hub are part of the roof. So instead of putting them in the spare bags, once you build the normal build, it's hidden in the roof. So if you want to do the powered up stuff and you can't remember where the pieces are, they're in this roof. Um, 
So there you go. That's what it looks like now. Obviously you can't see through it because the powered up hub's there. I've put the little control handle back on. It doesn't say to do that, but I, well, there's no reason why it shouldn't go there. Yeah, that's it. There's a few, oh yeah, I've just clipped in another bit. There's a few bits that sort of came loose just part of it, but that's, that's the powered up hub. Okay, so this is the app on the phone. You just get the powered up app. It's a free download on the app store, whatever app store it is, whether it's the Google Play Store or whether it is the uh, Apple app store. But the um, motor's in there, the lights are in there and everything like that. This comes with some sound effects and stuff, but I'm not gonna bother with the sound effects. We'll just do the lights. That's the lights on. You can see the front light there. And the rear light. Ooh. Rear light there as well. If we just test the motor. There you go. So the motor's working. So the next step is just to put it on the track, see how it runs, and you can then make up your mind whether you want to do all this to your little tram just to make it run. I imagine in a sort of a small winter village sort of display, it wouldn't be that much track really. You just need a single thing, a single loop. Wouldn't be that much. I wouldn't do that much because I suppose the winter village is slowly growing. So yeah, if you've got lots of sets, but if you've got track, then it's easy enough to do. But yeah, the powered up hub, all of this sort of stuff, it would be expensive. I suppose if you have another Lego train, you can just swap it for Christmas and then swap it back once you've finished with it. But yeah, let's see how this runs on track and we'll, uh, yeah, you can see if it's worth it. Okay, so here we have the tram. Here we have the phone, the controls, and uh, it's all on the track. I'm gonna run it round the top part of the track first. So that's the incline, it goes up all the way around there. It will go across the bridge and then down the slope. I'll try not to move the camera too quickly. So this is, uh, here we go. I think the lights, oh, let's turn the lights on. There we go, lights on. Off it goes. It's handling all the R40 curves really well. It's doing that really, really well. Go across the bridge, down the slope. And that has handled everything really, really well. And I think that is probably one of the most difficult tracks it would ever go on. So we'll let it go round again. And then bring it back. It'll come round again and then it'll go on the inner loop, which is the tunnel and everything like that. So. That runs really, really well. This means I'm going to have to build a tram line as well to go somewhere. Come back into the station. And for this, you don't need the phone app. You can just use a manual controller, of course. If you've got a standalone controller, then that's an extra cost as well. But there you go. That's the tram from the Winter Village Main Street set. And that is motorized with powered up. Uh, it's in important I didn't mention you just need the two wheels and the uh, only two wheels are actually motorized this has got a fairly long wheelbase but it's really good for what it is I think it runs really well it, yeah it it worked better than my expectations I've got to say but if looks are your thing and you don't really need it running then I think just the price point of the powered up stuff 
um, it is going to cost about 65, 70 pounds just to get all the stuff for the powered up things. And if you don't have track, then that's going to add to it. If you're going to use it year after year, then I suppose, you know, Christmas display, that'd be great. But I think this, I mean, if you can modify it just slightly so that it's not so Christmassy, you can also run it just round a track normally. I think that would work. I think that's probably what I'm going to do in the end. Just, uh, just modify it slightly just so it can work for other times of the year, because it would look a bit weird having a Christmas tram running all the time, but I think this looks really good. Uh, yeah, and you can, uh, hopefully that helps you decide whether you would like to motorize it and whether you think it's worth it. But uh, you've seen it running, you've seen me go through the process of uh, motorizing it, and there you go. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful. You can like and subscribe to the channel to see more of uh, more of the trains, more of the track, more of the builds of going on in Duncton, which is my city behind me. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.